You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Well, the Marxist NBA of China returned last night, as did LaChina James and his merry band of senior citizens getting ready to try to go after an NBA title. Well, Charles Barkley, I've said before, he was my favorite player growing up. He's my favorite NBA player of all time. Well, Charles Barkley hammered the ever-loving hell out of LeBron to James, LeWoke James, LaChina James. Oh, man. Wuhan James. There's the other one. Yeah. Uh, so he hammered, he, Charles Barkley hammered the Lakers and the Lakers fans let Charles Barkley know it, let him hear it last night during the TNT broadcast. Well, uh, now I'm going to tell you, I did a video yesterday about Howard Stern and Kyrie Irving. And I said that, uh, Howard Stern is a sellout now. Okay. Well, Look, it would be unfair for me, just because I've always liked Charles, it would be unfair for me to, to get up here and be like, ignore the amount of swipes he's taken at Kyrie. No, Charles Barkley feels a little bit like a sellout himself lately. Uh, he's never just went along with status quo and bent the knee, but when it comes to that jab, he's kind of lost his mind. He's kind of turned into a lunatic. Uh, not the same subject, but look, there may be a little double-edged sword from Laker fans. Yeah, you hammered the Lakers, but you're also out there promoting the jab, something that has had California and those fans locked down forever. They can't be very happy. All the different policies that are in place in L.A. and Barkley's out there really talking shit trying to promote this damn jab. Well, these Laker fans hammered him last night. So, I can celebrate the fact that he made fun of LaChina James, but I can also celebrate the fact that they said Barkley sucks. Two things can be true in this case. Let's get to this story. Barkley sucks. Barkley sucks, Sir Charles Bulls, as Shaq leads Laker fans into massive... Ch chant the basketball season officially tipped off tuesday night shaquille o'neal made sure to rekindle his long-running feud with charles barkley as the hall of famers returned to the set of inside the nba they are not feuding they're really t pretty tight friends actually Shaq had an army of lakers fans ready to help him as sir charles spent much of the night Roasting L.A.'s most popular team. So when Shaq implored them to start chanting, Barkley sucks, Laker fans said how loud with little reluctance. Tuesday night, Barkley mocked the Lakers for being too old. They're going to need canes before it's all said and done. Claiming that the, quote, geezers will need, quote, a lot of Ben Gay. The 58-year-old poked fun at LaChina James's hair. Quote, got to get the biggest headband in the world to cover that bald spot. He revived his merciless street clothes nickname for the often injured Anthony Davis. Are you not entertained? Shaq turned to the crowd, yelled before leading massive groups of people surrounding TNT's inside the NBA set into a giant Barkley sucks chant. If I can find this video, I'll show it to you guys. Their second of the night, and I'll put it right here. Barkley attempted to laugh it off, but competitive spirit caused his blood to boil over and drove him to fire back. And he said, 
I wish we were in Philadelphia, Barkley said, because if you come to Philadelphia and work and you're a jackass, we let you go home. A dig at Ben Simmons. You can't come here and act like a fool. This is pretty good. I like this. I like the fact that both things can be true. Lately, Charles does deserve a Barkley sucks chant. And let's face it, LaChina James always deserves, always deserves to get his ass hammered by everybody, including Sir Charles. I find this hilarious. I am actually pretty happy that the Marxist NBA of China is back. And we're here to hammer their asses all season long. Get ready. Get your lube ready. KY, LaChina James. We're going to drive you home, dude. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.